Hello from Sherry Forsyth, life coach, living and working in South Africa. But I greet you today from Thailand, where we are on holiday. Uh, I welcome you to the 10th in my series on being uniquely and powerfully you. And uh, today I'm going to do the second part of downtime. Uh, how important it is for us to make sure we top up our batteries so that we can give our very, very best um, to the people that we love, to our jobs, and in fact to ourselves. So in the first series on downtime, I spoke about the oxymoron of active rest and what that was. And today I want to speak about the idea of sharpening the saw. Um, the story goes that you can spend all your time uh, if you are a forester, chopping down trees. And as you chop, so your blade gets blunter and blunter. And if you don't take the time to stop and sharpen your saw, what will happen is that you will be working so hard, you'll be putting so much effort in, but in fact, because your blade is blunt, you won't be achieving what you should achieve. So what downtime does is it helps us to sharpen our blade. And then when we resume chopping down our trees, we'll be able to work very efficiently, very quickly, and with less effort. So that is really what downtime does for us. It allows us to sharpen our saw or sharpen the blade of our saw which then enables us to be our best person. And that's really what this series is all about, is how you can be uniquely and powerfully you. Um, uh, and in order to be that strong, you've got to make sure that you give yourself enough rest. So once again, I, I ask you to uh, write down in the comment box below, what helps you to sharpen your saw. What helps you to make sure that you are topping up your batteries? And there are many things that will help people to relax and, and top up their batteries. Uh, I mentioned a whole list of things that, that, I, that help me, um, but I'm going to add a little bit more to that list. Um, anything creative will top up your battery. Uh, so whether you are an artist, whether you are a musician, whether you like to sew, um, whether you like photography, um, all of those creative um, uh, activities will help you in doing something different and it's the differentness that helps you uh, to sharpen your saw. The second thing I want to uh, talk about today um, is something that is very, very important and for my um, the elite athletes that I, I do the mental training with, um, I speak a lot about the fact that the quality of your rest determines the quality of your performance. So I want to say that again, the quality of your rest determines the quality of your performance. So I'm not saying in that that you just need to rest and then you'll perform really well. Yes, you do need to do your training. Yes, you do need to do all the, the fitness and everything that goes along with that. But at the end of the day, the, the quality of your performance on race day will be determined by the quality of your rest. And so we take that to apply to us as well. The quality of how much we're going to be able to put into our work, into our families, into our friends, into ourselves, will be determined by the quality of our rest. So let's make sure that the quality of our rest is really good. And what makes the quality of our rest really good is when we're doing something completely different to what our normal job uh, requires. And I'm going to just touch very briefly on the whole idea of social media. Um, some people see that as complete downtime, but what can often happen is when you go onto social media or you go onto your emails, 
uh, it might be relaxing to start with and then you pick up uh, emails that are work related uh, which then can lead to stress or what you can do is go onto social media and see how wonderful everybody else is and what they're doing um, and you can immediately feel uh, that you are missing out, that you, you're not having such a good time and therefore it results in pressure and not rest. So, so when, you, when you are looking for, for quality downtime, um, be careful of social media because it might not be the rest that you need. And it was really interesting last night when my husband and I were out for supper. Uh, there was a group of five young girls, probably uh, early 20s, who came for supper. And they sat down and immediately, every single one of them was on their cell phone. So they weren't engaging with each other. Um, they first of all went to their cell phones and then eventually they put their phones away and did start chatting to each other. So getting back to the whole idea of the quality of your rest, make sure that it is really positive for you, that it is um, that you are able to maybe put your mind in neutral, um, that it's something that you really, really love to do. And that's maybe the, the, the most important thing. It's something that you really, really love to do and your whole soul just goes, ah, I'm loving this then you know that the quality of your rest is really good. So I remind you to please put down in the comment box below um, what, what you do to make sure that you have quality rest so that you can be your very, very best self for yourself, for others, for your significant others, and for your job. And from Thailand, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and remind you that the next video, in other words video number 11, will be on how to get balance in your life because that too will make sure that you can be uniquely and powerfully you. Goodbye.